Hello, Coda listeners. We are here to discuss Tri-County Health Network's Community Health Needs Assessment. From the organization, we have Rasa Canellis, Director of Strategic Initiatives, as well as Sean McDonald, Public Health Analyst. Let me kick things off. I believe the survey has been live since June 1st, and the link is at tchnetwork.org slash health-survey. What exactly is Tri-County Health Network's Community Health Needs Assessment? Can you tell us about it? Sure. So our Community Health Needs Assessment is a survey of our community members. We want to hear directly from community members about their health and social needs, like access to food, housing, transportation, whether they are accessing services to meet those needs, and if they are not getting services, why that's the case. That's great. Thank you. Um, Why is it so important to survey community members about their needs? Well, one of TCH Network's core values is that is the belief that health is more than health care. Our survey focuses on different factors like medical care, dental care, food, housing, and child care. By understanding how these different factors impact our community members' overall well-being, TCH Network can work to address barriers and improve health equity across our region. From our experience offering programs and services in our region, we currently serve four counties with over 20 programs. We also know that different communities and types of community members have different needs and require different resources to improve their health. When we do the analysis of the survey, we'll be able to assess what those different needs are and see how well resources in our communities are meeting the needs of specific groups of people. Yeah, and then just on top of everything Ross already mentioned, This year in particular, it's really especially important uh, given the COVID pandemic. We think that people's needs may look a little different than they did before the pandemic. So the survey results will really give us a better understanding of what people's needs are now and provide us important information to move forward with building health equity in our region. Um, And additionally, the survey is a great opportunity for our diverse community members to have their voices heard and let us know what resources and services would help them lead healthier lives. Uh, So we really want to hear from everybody. We do want to hear from everyone. We want to know whether the programs you're offering are relevant to all of our community members. We also want to know how we can best work with other nonprofit organizations, different community partners, and our clinic partners to cater services to the needs in our community. Wow, that's pretty pretty cool that you guys are doing all of this. How, How many surveys are you trying to collect? Well, we have a bold goal of trying to survey 1,400 people between now and August 31st. We're aiming to get about 350 responses from people who live or work in San Miguel County, 350 for people who live and work in the West End of Montrose, and 350 in Uray, and 350 in Delta County. Yeah, it's a pretty ambitious goal for sure. Um, But, you know, what we're hoping is that um, the survey is totally anonymous, and so we hope that helps folks feel more comfortable with it. And um, just as a token of our appreciation for folks actually completing the survey, the first 1,400 respondents are eligible to receive a gift card. So fingers crossed. Now you're talking. If you have an incentive for me, I'm certainly going to do the survey. No, I would have done it anyway because I think it's important. But um, that's great that you have that ability to give that incentive. Can you share a little bit about, I'm sorry, a little bit more about the survey itself? Uh, Yeah, for sure. So um, it's, again, like Rasa mentioned, it can be accessed by visiting tchnetwork.org slash health dash survey. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes to complete um, and asks a variety of questions about uh, the different potential needs people may have. So like food, food, housing, uh, medical care, dental care, behavioral health, and immigration barriers. Um, So here, let me pull up actually one of those questions for you to give it, you a taste of what that's like. Um, so here's a food related one. Um, a healthful diet includes fruits and vegetables. Do you have access to enough fruits and vegetables for you and your family? Um, so the, the survey is really designed for all people of all walks of life. Um, we're not just looking for one particular demographic, um, but in fact, uh, it's designed to reflect the diversity of our region. So um, we're also assessing the strengths of the systems in our region that support healthcare delivery, social determinants of health, Um, and access to services. Um, And the goal here really was to be replicable, that uh, meaning that this survey um, could be conducted um, in the future at, you know, an interval of two or three years from now, so we can see just how the community changes from year to year. 
That's right, Sean. And thanks for pulling up that question. And just to, just to piggyback off of what Sean said, we are going to be conducting the survey every three years. So the survey responses this year are going to give us an important baseline and we'll be able to track changes from 2021 and see whether the new programs that we're implementing in our community are making an impact on people's needs and assess how people's needs change over time. Um, and just to, just to add, you know, our survey is available in both English and Spanish um, and both can be accessed at tchnetwork.org forward slash health dash survey. To be eligible for the survey, you have to be age 18 or older and live or work in the West End of Montrose County, San Miguel County, Uray County, or Delta County, and the survey is completely anonymous. Great. Um, Ross, I have a question for you. So some of CODA's listeners may not have access to computers or Wi-Fi. How can they be included in this important survey to ensure that you get a broad swath of folks answering? Good question. We do recognize that not everyone has a computer and many people have spotty Wi-Fi in our region. But don't worry, our staff will be out conducting community outreach in all four counties with tablets in hand. We will be at farmer's markets on Main Street near the gondola, at fairs and rodeos, sporting events, outside live music events, and more. Uh, the more people who complete the survey, the better sample size we will have. And we'll also be asking for help from our fellow nonprofit partners, clinics, local governments, and places of worship. And speaking of, if anyone from one of those types of organizations would like Sean or myself to come present at a team meeting so you can learn more about the survey, please reach out to Tri-County Health Network and we'll get something scheduled. Um, and then to piggyback off of what Ross has said, June is also Immigrant Heritage Month and Tri-County Health Network is co-hosting a bunch of events throughout the month. So um, our bilingual and bicultural staff will be present with tablets to collect surveys from Spanish speakers, because again, we really do want um, a diverse voice heard here. Great. It sounds like you have pretty comprehensive um, outreach efforts uh, underway. What will you actually do with the results of this survey? Yeah, so once the data has been collected, tabulated, analyzed, um, Tri-County Health Network is going to share those results with partners, stakeholders, and residents this fall, uh, so fall of 2021. Our hope is that it serves as a dialogue starter around the community needs um, and inspires collaboration among local and state organizations on how to best fulfill unmet needs in our region. Um, and so what that's going to look like is we're planning to create an interactive web page where people can go online and look at different needs by community um, and demographic groups. Um, in addition to the presentations that we're um, hoping to do with those stakeholders and partners. Right. I am totally excited to hear what people have to say in our community. And I have my own opinions on what um, is needed. So that's great. I can't wait to, to read that when that happens. Um, I'm thinking back. Was it 2014 the last time that Tri-County Health Network conducted a community health needs assessment? Great memory, that's right. We did conduct one in 2014. And as a result of that community health needs assessment, we significantly expanded our behavioral health and dental programs. So that survey helped us learn that behavioral health and oral health were two needs that were not being met in our community. We took the results of that survey to different entities that provide funding to nonprofit organizations like Tri-County Health Network, including governments and foundations, and we were able to get money to expand and start new programs that address behavioral health and oral health. So some of the new behavioral health programs that we've launched included teletherapy, mental health first aid, family to family support group and others. We also were able to talk a little bit about the behavioral health needs that were identified during the campaign for 1A, which was the funding, the, the ballot initiative that passed to increase funding for behavioral health services in San Miguel County. Um, yeah, another group. Another gap identified throughout the survey was um, access to specialists in our community as well. Um, so I wasn't with Tri-County Health Network at the time, but I know that there are now orthopedic surgeons that regularly provide care in our community. Uh, and there's an orthodontist that has hours here monthly. Um, and then of course, there's the perennial conversation about getting a rec center. So uh, our survey actually includes some questions about what resources you're using and what you think the community is missing. So if all the survey results from San Miguel County say, hey, we really need a rec center here to improve our quality of life, um, that's definitely gonna have some, um, some sway with the, with the powers that be. I couldn't agree more, Sean. I mean, wow, the results really do have power. Um, all of the programs that you guys put together um, since the 2014 um, 
uh, assessment and then sharing those results widely with other nonprofits that also have their own initiatives to kind of solve some of the issues that are happening in the community. I, you know, kudos to you guys. I know I'll be completing the survey and I hope all CODA listeners will as well. It's important to share your experience with health and healthcare in your community and let Tri-County Health Network know what you would like to see in services and programs and what you would like to see implemented. I certainly agree the need for a rec center um, is paramount. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. And any closing thoughts either of you would like to share? Um, just, I think that everyone should go online and take the survey. So that, again, that's uh, tchnetwork.org slash health dash survey. So again, tchnetwork.org slash health dash survey. Um, and that link will be live until August 31st. And thank you, Anne-Marie, and thanks, Sean. I just want to reiterate how important it is for as many people as possible to complete the survey. This is a chance to have your voice heard, help guide the development of programs, and help bring me more resources to our rural communities. Thank you. Thank you both for your time today, and thanks to Tri-County Health Network for all the programs that they provide to the four communities that they serve and for um, completing and conducting this important survey. Thank you.